everyone, and welcome back to Celeste. Now, in the last episode, we just beat the first four B-sides. We're gonna go ahead and do some more B-sides. Starting with Chapter 5. This is where shit really picks up a lot of difficulty. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, forget what I just did there. Here. Alright? That's not important. At least right now. Not now. Sorry. I just... Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, uh... Just dash up. Although the music for this is a lot calmer than it needs to be. Fuck. That's also not what you're supposed to do. Boing. And then you want to dash straight into it. Yep. Dash. Okay. And you don't want to climb at all or else you'll just like kill all your momentum. Every time I die, do not repeat. Alright, actually, yeah. You just fucking dash into that. Alright. Sorry, it's a habit of mine to get every single torch. Even when it's very much not necessary. Alright, so as you can see, we got that up there. Grab that. Hello, boop, 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 boop. Wait, no. This one is a. Uh, this one pretty much demands you have uh, quick thinking skills. Thank you, quick. There we are. Oh shit, 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 shit. do that though because I'm not fast enough okay yeah you can either that or the death animation is a little bit slow yeah 
I'm just going this is recklessly, so uh, we're not going to do that. Yes. Okay. I suppose fast bubbling could probably help here. You also have to... This one is just timing, 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 timing. It's all about the timing. In this chapter. Make sure battle doesn't get eviscerated every quarter of the way. You have to be very quick. Now that that's done, you can just pop up here. No, uh, I think I did this wrong. Oh yes, I forgot, we can actually go this way now. This game, this is a precision platformer, so, uh, you know, precision. Fuck. Okay. Grab this. Probably my favorite screen on this one, anyways. It's I'm dead. As I said, this is uh, my favorite screen, but it's also probably the hardest on this dimension. When I say this dimension, I mean, you know, the Mirror Temple dimension from the other... ...from the previous and we're dead. Shredded here. Oh, right. ah, shit. 
Okay, uh... Alright. Bounce. Don't do that. Fellas, don't do that. I know it's probably obvious, but you don't want to do that. D fuck! That was just lucky. Remember, you can always grab onto this if you ever don't feel like you made the jump. That's, that's, that's literally a tip that I just learned. I didn't, I didn't know that before going into this level. There you go. Fuck! Didn't save me anyway. Wait, actually, I could have just skipped that entire thing. Well, that's gonna make this like ten times easier. observes the portal, but then she gets sucked into the mirror dimension. Except this time we don't have a cutscene with the mirror deal. We just go right to the mirror dimension. See? Okay. Alright. It really does not matter which way you go down. And you can always just, if you miss that jump, you can just dangle on here. Bomb straight up. This, this free fall level. I do not like free fall levels in this game. And this is probably one of the worst, aside from one level in Chapter 9. Which is, uh, far off where we are right now, but... Basically, have to trick them into destroying those for you. And in the process, not have them kill you. That, that last part is kind of a. I 
That part is kind of a given, but... Oh, fuck. Uh, it's still got a bit more to remember. It's kind of hard to forget. It's easy to forget sometimes. Although I do suppose if you're fast enough... Yeah! <laughs> My big brain thought of big brain. It, it didn't work that time. But I guess you can just do that as well. Although for most people, it'll probably be easier to do this. Oh, look, that was that's too close. Yeah. The shockwave can also break it, so... Uh, There we are. Hey, this one is just anxiety inducing. And we have our Theo! It's double remix featuring your boy Mix Master Theo. Woo! Woohoo! Oh no! No, not the Dio! We cannot lose the Dio! Well, Theo just beats, avenges me by beating the thing to death. Ah, uh, no! Right, I forgot we could just do that. Fuck you. This isn't canon, is it? No, it is not.
one is clearly impossible. Yeah, well... Yeah, fucking watch me. Damn it. Yeah, fucking watch me, Theo. As I said. Fuck you, Theo. I did it. Five be done. I don't know if I'm gonna go for six B though, because uh, my family you know, might be here soon. Um, and uh, chapter six is gonna take. Chapter six B is um actually far harder than five B. I'd say this is actually the second. Like, well, actually, yeah, this is progressively difficult from here. Five B, six B, seven B, and then eight B. Farewell is the hardest chapter in the game, which is why we're saving that for the absolute last. Okay, well, you know what? Fuck it. We'll do this. We'll do it. We'll do it! As you can see, quite a great increase in difficulty. <laughs> Basically, there's a running gag in the Celeste community that a B-side is just an A-side, it's just an A-side minus the four. Which is, uh, pretty accurate, actually. My god, I feel so bad for the keyboard players that have to do those feathers without the music. Oh my god. The difference between using the D-pad or the keyboard and the joystick for the feathers is night and day. favorite rooms of the game, but right, right here, though. There's a lot of uh, particular rooms that stand out to me, although my favorite room is the absolute last room of the game, which uh, we won't, I will not spoil for you, but it's also probably the hardest room.
there's so it's kind of hard to pick a favorite room because they're all so well done. But yeah, six, six, chapter six is definitely the best chapter overall. I would say both in terms of C sides and B sides and A's. The A side is the best chapter. All right, there's no doubt. Keep going down. Or else my only gets her head chopped off. Here we are, motherfucker. Oh, oh yeah, there. This boss fight is still here. But it's after like all these three ball levels. Now this is where these are the hardest levels in. I do not like free fall. I do not like free fall levels in this. Free fall levels are the bane of my goddamn existence. So the music is so good. Like, I, when you get to the B side, you, I just start to realize just what makes this game so goddamn good. I mean, if I haven't already, but I mean, by the time I completed chapter seven in the original story, like I was just blown away by how good this game was. Still, like one of my favorite games of all time. Period. Like Super Mario Galaxy and Minecraft are probably the only two games that have met this, that have surpassed this level of quality. Probably a bold statement to make, but no, no, I'm going with it. Those are the only two games that have that are better than this. Oh God. Yeah, pretty tight squeeze, uh, shall we say. Oh god. Ew. Boing, boing. Grab. Fuck. Oh, uh, God. This game will have you probably raging on your first attempt, though. 
I remember Jacob, like, he just outright quit halfway, like, stopped doing the B-sides at this very level. Um, and Brendan, um, he's just not very good at the game in general. Yeah, fuck. It's really hard to keep stacking dashes there. Okay, finally! Now I think we're actually. That's the last free fall. That's the last free fall Alright, here's commence the boss fight! A much harder boss fight than the original. Well.
Fuck. speed. Don't fling yourself like that. Yeah, this is a phone part where she doesn't shoot you. You can actually actually hear her her angry barking. But of course after you hit her, she just goes right back to shooting you. Sorry about that. Um, recording just cut out. Okay. Now where were we? Uh, yeah. Back to play. Act two. Yeah, I was out of there. Like, as I said, the difference in using a a joystick for the feather and the DC pad for the feather are night and day. Now oh, my family's got here. Um, Oink. Oh, 
Not that. Ah. to uh myself into those spikes. I 
guess you don't dash into that. I said just die, rinse, repeat. There you go, finally. Are you kidding? You're right there. Playing with joystick entirely right now. I swear to God. Usual, the last screen is a breather, not a light one, but it's a br it's not easy, but it's far easier than what shit we were just dealing with. Yes, center of the earth. I just realized, how did Madeline get that bandage on her face exactly? Oh, that's probably from falling to, yeah. T to be honest, she, the fact that she got would get away with just a bandage and not, you know, complete death is a miracle. Yeah, it's a lot of shit. As you can see, that's uh, clearly a step up from this. Yeah. So in the next episode, we will be tackling 7C and 8, uh, 8B. And then we will be going to the C sides. As I said, this is the very last thing we're going to tackle. But as for now, I will see you guys in the next episode. This has been King of Dragon, and peace out!